What's up everybody? Um, today I wanted to talk about the importance of making a plan. Um, you know, plans are pretty important. A lot of people ask me how I got here and my comment is I did what needed to be done and the only way I knew what needed to be done was by making a plan. Make a plan to put yourself in a better position to navigate life and end up where you wanna be. For us, that's homesteading on our property. For you, that might be driving a Ferrari. I don't know how you'd achieve that, but the first step is you need a plan. Nobody got anywhere without making a plan. You need to chart your course in life. Two years ago, I had an anxiety or panic attack and I went to a therapist and I realized my life was out of control, whether that was excessive drinking, no guidance, no direction, no role models. And he told me that I should, um, you know, make a plan. So I started Googling some stuff and watching YouTube videos. I made a five year plan and set some goals and that helped me regain control of my life. Oh yeah, got this goal book that I've had for, I don't know, years. One of my things about my life, I wanted you know, I wanted to design my life. I wrote down some plans. I'm gonna read you what they were two years ago, what my plans were. I said, I wanna live in a home that I've built. I wanna drive something that I've created. I wanna design and build for work. I wanna be healthy, relatively debt-free, and be able to do what I want when I want. There's obviously a lot more stuff written down in there, but that is the crash course of my life designed. I think that was a video I watched on YouTube. It's pretty cool to look back on that. That was two years ago, right around my birthday. I think I always stress out around my birthday because I realize I'm getting older and I'm, I don't have control of my life where I didn't. Anyways, I picked up this book. My birthday's coming up next weekend and it was really cool to read because like, holy shit, I just bought some property and we're making plans on building a house. I am at the end of this month. I'm going to be debt free. Over the last two years, since I've started making plans and chipping away at them, I've been able to pay off over $50,000 in debt by selling lots of unnecessary things and falling back on my plan by buying another vehicle that I didn't need that put me even farther in debt. Sold it once again. You're gonna fall back on your plans and you're gonna go forward with your plans. I drink significantly less. I've changed my living situation. That was stressing me out. Um, my outlook on life and my future have changed just by making some plans and always having them to look at whenever things got hard or I was faced with options that are conflicting to my end goal. Having a plan when something is in your way, you hit a roadblock in life, you could be like, hey, does this align with where I want to be in five years? Is this where I, you know, should buying this $17,000 truck from your friend, is this really going to set you up where you want to be? Probably fucking not if you want to have be a homesteader. I mean, I'm assuming you're watching this because you're probably interested in homesteading. Um, but this is advice for anybody my age. Um, I'm just an idiot, but I mean, I struggled through life and this is something that's helped me out a lot. So I am. Putting myself out there on this one and um, I'm not the only one that struggles with shit. I know that. So after making all these plans, I mean, I think we have, let's find out right now. Hey Siri, how many days until October 31st? It's 33 days until then. We have 33 days until, that's like the longest it's gonna be until we're moving. So I only have one more bill to pay off and that's in four weeks. If I didn't have a plan, I wouldn't have been able to do that. That's for damn sure. Without having my five-year plan and being honest with myself about what I truly wanted in life, I'd still be lost and living the same life I was two years ago. I'd probably be in San Jose, a town that I hate, in a big city. I'd be in debt. Um, I'd probably still be drinking a lot because I didn't have like a big picture to look out of my life of where I want to be or what I can do to correct it and make my life better. Instead of being lost like I was, me and Leanne, we own 60 acres and in 33 days, we're, we're moving to Kentucky. I never thought that would be possible. I didn't think that I was ever gonna be able to own cows or chickens or have a legit garden in my life that I can provide for myself and my family. Um, that's fucking awesome. If that helped you, I hope that, uh, like the video, if you wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe. I don't think it's gonna be totally talking about money or making plans forever. I am just creating videos to set a backstory of where I came from or who I am so all of our followers can see that. They can look back on these videos and um, understand where I came from, which I feel like is where a lot of people are in life and they can see how shortly, period, how quickly you can change your life and set yourself up for something else that you want in life. Um, it's possible, it's all possible. So leave a comment below and uh, just let me know where you see yourself in five years or where you want to be in five years. Be positive. Um, 
reach for the fucking stars because I didn't think I would be, I didn't think I'd be a homesteader in two years of writing my five-year plan of I want to be building my own house and, um, you know, cool shit like that. So take it easy, everybody. Have a nice day. Enjoy your week.